This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from the dojo.net. The holiday seasons are approaching and I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy holiday season with your family, friends, and loved ones. And as you guys know, especially in the US, as this holiday time approaches, a lot of deals kind of pop up everywhere for all sorts of things. And this includes motion design, visual effects, and after effects tools. And our sponsor for today's video, A Juice is also launching a new product, as well as having a Black Friday deal, which I want to talk about today in this video. So I've worked with A Juice in the past a lot before. They create a lot of awesome products for After Effects, including free tools and plugins, which you can check out over here in the free plugin section of their website. Basically, they launched a new product here called Seamless Transition. It's basically a pack of over 1,600 transitions for After Effects. Um, there's all sorts of categories, um, a lot of style properties and things you can change and apply wiggles and styles and all sorts of different features. Um, it uses their pick manager and of course it is resolution independent. So you can pretty much use any resolution you want and it's going to auto resize the transition to match whatever you have and throw at it. Pretty cool stuff. Rather than me talking about it, um, I wanna show you an After Effects, but basically they're running a deal for $24 right now. The normal price is $50 is already a good deal, but $24 is even better. And Adrius is having actually a site-wide Black Friday deal. So all their products and packs are discounted severely. And if you wanna get everything that they create, including the tra seamless transitions, as well as their liquid elements pack, everything, you can get everything for $149, which actually retails for over $1,000. So pretty good deal here. A Juice, awesome company. Um, they are sponsoring today's video, but again, if the plugin sucks, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, I make that very, very clear. And so I'm gonna be very honest with you guys here. So. This is the A Juice Pack Manager 3 loaded up with the seamless transition pack that they just released. And so um, right from the front, it's very, very similar to a lot of other transition packs. A lot of them even have extensions to kind of help you manage and apply these um, transitions. But I do want to highlight some key differences here in this particular pack. Um, so you have some basic transitions like these. Um, you know, pan, rotation, transform kind of things here. And how you apply it is you just position your cursor. I have two clips here. And basically you just kind of select the transition point, the split point, and you just go ahead and double click. And it's going to import this transition in kind of like an adjustment layer, but it's not, it's more of a comp. And so if I just kind of make some room here and move this over, you're gonna see that we have our initial clip here and then it's going to start transitioning over to this second clip here. And it's very easy, very fast to do. Um, and you can just delete it and everything's good. And we just delete the transition here. Um, so there's tons of options. There's blur transitions here that uses kind of some sort of blur, kind of camera simulation, old shutter um, type vibe. Or here's some graphics here. There's some distortions. Um, a lot of other cool stuff here. I want to hide the glitch ones because the glitches are pretty interesting and they're kind of a pain in the butt to create manually. And so if we just apply one of these, double click, go into import it. And notice how when I did that, my, my time indicator was in the wrong spot and it applied the transition to where my current time indicator is which I guess is okay, but I kind of wish that the pack just realized where I wanted to place it by selecting your, my layers right here. So if I select these two layers, it should find the split point between the two and just apply it right over here. I know that wouldn't work for everyone, but I wish that was an option in the settings. You're gonna see that I have this really cool colorized, stylized glitch transition between the two clips here. Um, very quick, very easy. And this is really popular for like music videos, YouTube videos, skating videos, stuff like that. You can use it for advertisements, campaigns, and all that cool stuff here. Um, there are some kind of like hit impact type of transitions here. Um, lens transitions, kind of like a psychedelic, kind of warpy distortion stuff. Perspective, where it kind of just changes the perspective and kind of zooms in, zooms out, which can be kind of complicated to set up manually as well. Some cool pixelated transitions, shake transitions here with a lot of motion blur. Um, there's some stretch one, which kind of just stretches your clips. Pretty cool for a certain style of, of whatever you're trying to do. Um, there's a target zoom. These are very, very popular on the, on the internet nowadays where it kind of just force zooms into your clip here. So if I just double click and apply that. And the cool part here is that you can actually combine effects together, right? So just because you have one transition doesn't mean that you can't combine two or three or four. Um, so for example, I can have like um, my glitch transition right here on top of my, my zoom. And as you can see, 
I'm going to glitch and also zoom. Um, and so, you know, technically the, the options are endless here when you stack all sorts of different transitions together to create a unique look here. So you get that nice discoloration plus that transition of the zooming effect. And now you have something like that. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Um, so there's a lot of different other transitions out here, over 1600. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to bore you guys and go through every single one of these. Um, but basically there's tons of options here. And so the reason why age uses a little bit different is because you have these options down here, right? So you have this feature here called like a filter system where you can kind of just filter the, tr the transitions based on, you know, if it's coming in from the upper left, right? So if I hit this button right here, you're going to see transitions that that pretty much spawn and kind of come from this direction. And it seems that whenever I do that, it kind of breaks the preview, which is kind of a, a bug, I believe. So hopefully they fix that. Um, if I do the center here, you can see some transitions um, that originate from the center. And then you can show all, you can do rotation type of transitions right here um, and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna show all the transitions here. And so you have some other in, out, and in, out options right here. And of course you have the timing. So by default, these transitions last for about one second. That's the default value right here. If you want faster transitions, you can easily select like 0.25. I'll delete these keyframes here and then apply a basic transform. And you're gonna find that the transition is a lot shorter here. I'll place that right here and kind of just do a quick preview here. And as you can see, you get this really fast jerky transition here. Um, and that's if you wanna change the duration. Um, so some options there. Now you can actually add a little bit of wiggle to pretty much all the transitions here. So um, if I go to the basic ones up here, like a basic transform, right? It's a very smooth linear type of transitions, right? But if I go ahead and add like a wiggle mode seven and select my point right here and go ahead and double click, it's going to apply this transition with a kind of a wiggle. And I might want to increase the duration to like one second. Otherwise you won't be able to see it here. So I'll reapply it with the wiggle. And this will work with pretty much all transitions. And if I do a quick RAM preview, you're gonna notice that it slides down with a kind of aggressive wiggle here. So that's pretty nice and pretty cool. There's also an option to control the amount of motion blur. So by default set to 50%, you can do 100% if you want. And there is also a reset all setting. And then there is this seamless transition setting right over here. And this is where you can select the style of your transition. So similar to the other AE juice packs where you have like certain styles, sub styles that can apply to all sorts of packs, um, you have a similar style in seamless transition. So you can add kind of like an over bloom exposure effect to all the transitions. You can add a glow effect like this. Um, if you're a huge fan of chromatic aberration, which is very popular nowadays, you can add chromatic aberration, that look to pretty much all your transitions here. There's some monochromatic noise. There's like neon lights for like more like music videos and stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and try this one out. Let's go ahead and try a glow chromatic aberration. Um, I like that style, hit okay. And so now if I go ahead and apply the basic transform, I believe you still have the wiggle on there. So it's going to apply the wiggle, the transition, as well as the chromatic aberration and the glow as well. So quick little RAM preview. You're gonna see that we have this really nice, interesting look. And again, you can stack transitions on top of each other to create the look that you want. Um, and so that's pretty cool as well. And so kind of the last feature that it has is it has this animate shortcut thing that I haven't gotten to work. So the idea is that you can actually set a hotkey. And when you set that hotkey, you can actually apply transitions without even having the plugin open. And it's really fast and easy to do um, if you want to apply transitions fast. Unfortunately, even no matter what shortcut I use, I can't seem to trigger a, a transition um, application. Um, so maybe I'm doing it wrong or there's a bug. But as of right now, this is not working for me. So just something to keep in mind. And you can tell a Juice Manager to only use the, the transitions that you favorited in the a Juice Pack Manager. So if I really like this basic transition, I can go ahead and hit favorite 
and you can find it all in your favorite section right here. And this will also populate with other favorited items in the other age use packs as well. And finally, the last feature I want to talk about here is the option to trigger the animate thing right here. So I'm going to delete this transition right here. And I'm just going to pretend that I have like three different clips here. And so let's say I wanted to add a transition to pretty much all three of these clips. It can be 100, it can be 200 clips here. I can go and select them all right here and go ahead and hit animate. And it's going to pretty much add a transition to all my clips for me and position them wherever they think it should be. And so as you can see here, we have our clips are lined right here and the transitions are automatically applied and properly placed in the right position. And so as we go through it, you have this transition right here with the glow and chromatic aberration. And then you have another transition right here that does its own thing here. So it's a pretty nice and cool way to kind of just auto add transitions. So if you have like a timeline of like pictures or videos, and you just want to quickly add transitions to every single transition spot. Um, this is a very quick and easy way to do it. In my opinion, way better than the slides feature right here. So this is basically, in essence, the seamless transition pack for a juice pack manager three. It's very, very affordable. It's similarly priced to other packs, but you have all these features down here, which really make this pack a lot more unique. They'll always be adding more stuff to it. And actually, if you guys purchase the seamless transition pack, from now until Cyber Monday, um, one of you guys will get a full refund. All you have to do is comment down below saying that you bought it. And within from now until Cyber Monday, I'll pick one random winner. And that one winner will get a full refund from AE Juice for the seamless transition pack. So pretty cool stuff, many thanks to AE Juice. Before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to make an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable to make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24-hour support. And best of all, you can actually save 10% off your order by using the promo code DOJO at checkout and supporting this show. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for the AE Juice Seamless Transition Pack here. Let me know what you guys think of the transitions and this pack in general in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, guys, my name is Vincent Nguyen, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.